All right, yo, what's up, everybody? We're gonna be doing a uh, presentation deep dive reaction. Tactics HD, and y'all drop a like. We're gonna check out Rachel my Rachel. thoughts on this, man. I'm gonna keep it a stack. So it's been a minute since I made a video. There hasn't been too much NHL 24 news, so I'm hoping this changes. So let's see this. Again, like I said, the graphics definitely look a little bit better, man. But I'm gonna keep it a stack, man. I don't really believe trailer graphics, man, yo. If you guys have never heard of me, I've making NHL content on YouTube for over 10 years now, and the last month I got to sit down with features and changes to the right. upcoming game. Now my first question was about the new Hype Moments feature and how it makes all the arenas in-game come hype alive. Moments. We've really uh, kind of expanded out what we call, at least under the hood, the crowd engagement score, or the CES. So there's positive events, there's negative events. And as you kind of build up positive events, it really gets the home crowd uh, kind of riled up. That's pretty cool, man. But like, I feel like this 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 sounds so cringe, man. That sounds so like cringe, you know? Like, the sound. Uh, maybe I'm complaining. Maybe I'm being like a little bit too like, you know, like. But like, come on, man. I feel like they could have like got like a uh, like, the real life. Like, I don't know, man. It just doesn't sound real, right? It doesn't sound authentic. It sounds like, it sounds like some random stuff, man. It doesn't sound like a, you know, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm being the next feature I'm really yeah. excited for in HL24 is the new creation zone environment. Basically, creation this is where zone. you are whenever you're creating your player, creating your team. And a cool feature they added this year is the ability to create 30 more teams, 1,500 more skaters, and 200 more. This is and a cool feature they added this year is the ability to create 30 more teams, 1,500 more skaters, and 200 more goalies than previous years. So those custom rosters should be awesome. But next, guys, I'll have Pritchett tell you about some of the different customization options within that mode. We've got over 150 new. Damn, pieces hey, of I go live, bro. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Customization options within that mode. We've got. This is so fire, bro. Like, if you guys know, man, like this is some stuff I would rock in the game. This is fire, man. I love this. Over 150 new pieces of vanity gear that are animated, which need to. That is hard, man. This is. I like this, man. Kind of be seen to believe, and I think we've got 130. Ooh. Oh my stuff. goodness! Oh, that looks nasty, bro. This is some stuff I rock in the game, bro. Thing pieces of vanity gear that aren't animated but look super premium. We've got a new Yo. no tape gear that. This aren't is fire. Animated, but looks super premium. Nah, man. I might actually have to hop on World of the Show this year, man. This actually looks fire. This this is fire, bro. We've got a new no tape stick option, which the fans have been asking for for quite some time. And a lot of work has been done on the material tuning to make the sticks as authentic as possible. The metalness, the graphics. Let's keep it a stack, man. We're not going to really know what's exactly this stuff in the right. game, man. Another big the one that stuff. the fans have been asking for for a long time is you can now put a cage on any helmet whatsoever. We've got the full okay. visor supported as well. And also uh, the skin material, not just inside of Creation Zone, but inside of the game itself. It looks better than it's ever looked before. It looks much I have a lot, man. I don't see no uh, time in the fine <laughs> details of that skin shader to get it looking as authentic as shot. possible. And what has to be the most drastic change of presentation in this year's game, guys, is the new Flex Moments. No longer are you celebrating from your regular camera angle, but you're actually up close and personal now on your player. I'll have Pritchett tell you the thought process behind that change. Previous years, we've allowed the user to celebrate, but it's always just been from the gameplay camera. So you're kind of just a few pixels celebrating on the screen. And if you look at, you know, any images on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, of your favorite player celebrating. It's always like down low and up close and you can kind of see the full body and the face. They're usually screaming kind of thing. Uh, we needed to capture that. So in offline modes like franchise. I'm gonna keep it a stack uh, guys. Mode. I don't know about you guys. I, I really don't, I didn't like the celebration system in the in the play test. I just feel like when you're playing, like for, for example, me man, like when I'm playing hockey ultimate team, and I score a goal, bro. I I don't like it gets it gets it's gonna get boring pretty quick. You know what I mean? So it's like I don't know how I feel about this. Just I I I, I know what they're coming from. It's a cool. It's definitely a very cool idea, right? But at the same time, it's like it. it let, let's say like you're losing four nothing, man. It's just gonna get boring, bro. You're just gonna end up rage quitting. If I'm losing, like if if, if a guy scores four nothing on me and he keeps doing these these celebrations, I'm leaving the game. I'm rage quitting. So I don't know. It, it, it's gonna get old now, pretty quick. Really authentic modes. Um, That's you know, we have feel, a though. selection of authentic celebrations that can be chosen along with um Signature celebration. I mean, that's how I feel personally. Players. Like, and then in they're cool. They're they're definitely cool. Like right here, World of Chell. Like, like Ishal, World of Chell. I don't um, know, man. There's 75 I just feel like new celebrations that are. Some of them are pretty crazy, but one thing they all have in common is that they look awesome. 
a brand new camera, brand new lighting, and facial animation for every single one of them that is appropriate for the celebration. And now with Flex Moments, the other big change of presentation this year has to be the new dynamic rink boards. Obviously some controversial like opinions about those. I asked Pritchett how they're gonna ensure that they're not distracting for players. When you score, you know, we got a special animation there. And we yeah, I, I'm gonna keep it stack. I don't like this, man. <laughs> like, bro, what's the point of this up, stuff, man? Um, you know, the most relevant stat. So if it's a career milestone or if- hey, Career milestone, that's cool and all, but man, I just feel this is another way for EA to add ads in the game, it's man. I don't like it, bro. Stone, like a hat trick or something like that. That's what we're going to showcase on the boards. And then in the world of Chell, uh, there's this whole new kind of customization, uh, player banners, we call them, but they're, they're, they're graphics uh, that you can kind of customize your character with, and they kind of take over the boards as well. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. And now, with all that new information we just laid on the boards, ask Pritchett how that potentially helps players who play without audio, which I sometimes do, I'm not going to lie. Here's his thoughts. No sound, so we've no heard problem. A lot about people obviously not playing with, with audio. And while audio is awesome and everyone should play with audio, we get it. There are people that don't want to play with audio. Instead of, um, you know, doing something like bring up an overlay or something like that, you know, we just put it on the boards themselves. So if there's a delayed penalty, the empty net, so a goalie got pulled. Uh, those types of things we now. I will. That's, that's a little bit helpful, just because I'm gonna be honest. I don't like playing with audio. I just get tired of the commentators. And sometimes when you're playing chill, you just want to play some music. So the boards, it's definitely fire. And users, the great thing about it is like users. Uh, I'm gonna be honest though. Too. Like a lot of this stuff is just like to. it doesn't really affect the gameplay, right? Like that's kind of my big issue here. I don't want to spend too much time. And kind of look at them uh, I don't want to spend too much time here, so I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Helpful, whether you've got audio or not, but definitely extrusion on players which is very cool as well as new facial animations i asked richard to tell us more about that feature as well as whether or not it'll be available on all consoles all of the new heads 22 new star heads they're in all platforms so gen 4 and gen 5 so new heads. exertion is gen 5 only uh, this year and it's a great feature but what you'll see is the exertion the players face they get more flush they get more sweaty kind of as they're out there on the ice working uh, they get back to the bench they take a little bit of break kind of calms down a little bit they jump back on and starts all kind of all over again so it's a very cool little detail to see especially with some of the replays that we have that get kind of up close and personal with the players but yes gen 5 only mission now if you guys haven't heard yet there's actually a new color commentator in hl24 it's no longer ray ferraro it's now cheryl pounder and i asked Richard to explain what made uh, her the perfect choice for that role cheryl kind of came in at this last second audition for us and it was like oh she's meant to be working on this well, game. it's incredible. You can tell that they are moving and shaking. They're getting the puck going north. They're transitioning. I'm right, so glad, man. I'm glad. Yo, Rare Frog got boring, man. I hate Rare Frog, man. They have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot. And that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. And now in addition to the new color commentary, guys, there's actually authentic tracks being used as part of the new face-off moments. And face you can hear Pritchett talk more about that. Face-off moments are pretty awesome. We're bringing authentic music back into the back end of the game or the actual game itself. What we're really going for is authentic emotion. So we needed those authentic tracks and we got some classic tracks like a Darude Sandstorm, we got Tsunami by Dubs, Fits in the Tantrum, Hand Clap, and of course we've got Cha Cha Slide as well, which everyone's gonna recognize. Cool thing about those all last right, man. two so, are sweet. that there's it's all right. nice and all right, this is copyright. I'm not trying to get copyrighted, man. You know, I ain't trying to get copyrighted. The presentation feature in NHL 23 had to be the on-ice projections, but I asked Pritchard whether or not we'd be getting any unique ones for different teams in NHL 24. Oh, I hear this one. On-ice presentations. We reached out to uh, the teams that we didn't have an authentic on-ice projection for. That's so fire. we got Washington properly represented. we got Montreal properly represented. We have the Seattle Kraken, which looks absolutely sick inside of the game, plus others as well. But yes, definitely an effort was made there to try to get away from some of those generic on ice projections that we have for some of the teams. And get That's pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie. And now finally here, guys, this is a big one for franchise guys like me. I asked whether or not the offline replays are returning to NHL 24. Here's your answer. Yeah, so this year we brought back the full replays. Uh, full replays. For offline modes, franchise, be a pro, and play now, and, and the others. All right, guys, um, that's kind of going to wrap it up, man. I'm going to keep it stack. It, not too bad, but at the same time, uh, yeah, this guy doesn't like the celebration. It's cool for everybody on every single goal. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I'm just trying to see the comments, man. Uh, I, I, I do want to give EA a little bit of credit. It seems like they're definitely, you know, taking a step ahead. You know, they're definitely, you know, caring about the product and everything this year. But at the same time, man, like, uh, I do think a lot of the presentation stuff is just, it is what it is. Like, it's it's just something that's nice, but it's you know we don't really need it. I'm gonna keep it a stack when you're playing. Like, really, the most important thing is just the gameplay. So I, I really hope that they release the hot deep dive and all that stuff pretty soon because 
Um, this is all cool, but like at the end of the day, like what makes or break the game is it gonna be uh, the uh, the billboard on the on the ice or you know someone's face sweat, right? So uh, that's kind of my opinion on it. Drop like, subscribe, catch you guys in the next man. Uh, peace out.